This morning, we begin a new series called Man Up Makeover for Dad. With Father's Day right around the corner, you're going to meet some very special dads who are making a real difference. Steve Ruggles of Kannapolis, North Carolina, loves racing his Corvette. Racing's just kind of been something that my family has enjoyed forever. <laughs> but it can't compete with playing with his two boys, Jake and Ryan. They love me jumping on the tramp with them because it bounces them a lot higher. But four years ago, a doctor's words changed everything. Our son Ryan was diagnosed with autism. Steve's wife Shelby wrote to us. After thinking over the therapy costs, Steve decided it would be best for us to sell his car, giving up his hobby, and use the money to go towards therapy for Ryan. Then his thoughts shifted gears. You know what, NASCAR and all these guys, sponsorships what run their teams, and I got thinking about that and I was like, why not raise money for autism? Within a few days, he had huge puzzle pieces put all over the car, and on each side, Ryan's race in large letters. Shelby says her husband's raised thousands of dollars for autism charities, helping many children, including their own son. Okay, here I go, Ryan. It's just to see this kind of improvement in the last couple of years where he can come to me and say, Dad, I want to go outside and go swimming. And he does everything he can for his family. And he always puts others first. Nah, I got you. And with us are Steve's wife, Shelby, along with our dad do-over team, grooming expert, Kyan Douglas, and style expert, Katrina Zish. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. So nice of you to write that letter. Thank you. Right? Well, this whole thing is about, you know, paying homage to guys who have done some good things, but it's also really about doing a little kind of getting them up to speed, trying to drag them, kicking and screaming into the 21st century. <laughs> Let's take a look at a before picture. All right, shall we? There he is. Oh boy. That's the before. <laughs> yeah. And now let's take a look at what you have done with this young man. Mm. All right. Come on in. There he is. Wow. <laughs> How about that? Nice wow. to see you. Baby. Hi, yeah. baby. Aww. You can kiss your wife. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> you make yeah. Smile. Unbelievable. All right. Now just stand here because we want to get a look at, at what transpired. Mm -hmm. What did you, you saw this man? You said, what can we do for him? And who wants to go first? I'll dive in. He's a great looking guy, so it was really easy. The first thing that we did was we went to Bright Smile, gave him a new white smile because it's the easiest way to really improve your look sure. immediately. Right. Then we went to Bliss, and he, he had a facial not only on his face, but also on his scalp. Right. And this is a good take home for guys at home and for you too, Harry, because if you're losing your hair, and you can see your scalp, you need to start treating the skin on your scalp exactly the same way that you treat the skin on your face. Uh -huh. So we had a facial and a, a scalpel too. Right. And then finally we went to the art of shaving and we took care of that beard. He got a, his very first straight razor shave, which he loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I very really, cool. really liked the beard. Very cool. But I thought for his television debut, we should give him a good clean look. This is pretty great. You like? Yeah, I love it. Now what do you think, Justin, when you looked in the mirror after all of this, what did you, you what, what was your response? I, I love it. it it's, it's clean, it's it's fresh. I, I really I love it. You do, you look good, man. He looks great. You look seriously good. Now what about the what about the uh, the, the clothing? The ensemble look here. Yeah. Three important looks. I wanted to consider his lifestyle, I wanted to consider the fit of the clothes, and mm -hmm. also I wanted there to be a personal touch. So his lifestyle, he's usually wearing shorts or jeans, and he has a casual laid back lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put him in something more elegant, but nothing too stiff. That's why we've got this relaxed suit. It's khaki, it's lightweight, it's perfect for North Carolina. And also his favorite color is green so that's a personal touch we added and he added the autism speaks pin yep and then fit his clothes were way too big we wanted to show off that great physique yeah and you you're in good shape dude yeah, yeah. right <laughs> oh yeah why not yeah. He, yeah. he was such a good sport I have to say no kicking and screaming here wow very <laughs> impressed <laughs> yeah. now how does this fulfill your uh, anticipation uh, hi buddy uh, and here are the boys <laughs> hi, oh, oh man guys, I love you guys they do love their dad <laughs> they do love their dad how sweet is this Dick, are we did it fulfill your expectations? Uh, beyond. Yeah. Beyond. It what exceeded. a great, great look. And how great to have you here with the kids <laughs> oh, and everyone I think, I think he likes it. Yeah. yeah. I think Ryan, he likes you like it? it? 
<laughs> well, check this out, because I know you love your car, and I know you've done so much for autism. You know, NASCAR is very, very committed to Autism Speaks, and so we thought we would, you know, talk to the folks at NASCAR. So Lowe's Motor Speedway at Charlotte is giving you and your family tickets to the NASCAR Banking 500 on October 17th. They're gonna provide you with a VIP experience and they're gonna meet and greet and it's just gonna be, uh, you're gonna meet and greet the uh, driver of the 26 Ford, Jamie McCurry. Absolute VIP treatment and more than anything, we just wanna thank you for sending us the great letter and thank, thank you. you for being such a great dad. Thank you. Good job. Thanks, All right, way to go, guys.